So I was studying music production in college and that was the first time I kind of thought I need to get a MacBook. Um, using Windows computers before and stuff, being the creative person I am, it kind of didn't work in the sense that when MacBooks came out it was like, you're a photographer, you need a MacBook, you're a videographer, you need a MacBook, you're a drawer, I'll get a MacBook, etc, etc. And I was sold by the idea I need a MacBook. So I got a, I picked up a 2013 MacBook Pro. I think I picked up about 2013, 2014, just as soon as it came out. It was the generation with the SD card slot, Thunderbolts, um, the MagSafe, um, little 13 inch, eight gig of RAM, but it worked perfectly. So yeah, I was obviously using Logic for the course that I was doing, but I also used uh, a bit of Adobe Premiere Pro and also Photoshop for kind of my passion, which was photography. Um, Premiere Pro for the video making, for YouTube videos that I was doing various videos in my college course anyway. Um, so I just had that passion for it and that's kind of why I wanted to get a Mac. And it was only, I mean that, that lasted me, what, six years or so before I kind of thought, right, I need to get another one. I'd, I'd got to the point where I was running a business and I was editing client work, paid client work on this eight gigabyte RAM, you know, 2013, 13 inch MacBook Pro and I thought, I need to upgrade. I need to get something that can handle the workflow that I'm pushing through. I picked up this beast, which is a 15 inch i9 8 core, 512 gigabyte SSD, 16 gig of RAM, which at the time of buying this, when I started my business out, this was all I could afford. Um, I wanted something a little bit smaller, but the more power were in the bigger ones, so this is why I got this style. And this has lasted me, you know, two and a half years, which is not as long as the other Mac. I think in the last three years especially, um, technology has improved so much and MacBooks alone, the technology that we've got in MacBooks, obviously the new Apple Silicon that's come out with the new M1, has kind of made uh, technology, people's heads are blown up by the technology that they put into these Macs and iPads and you know, their technology is incredible and that's kind of, the last three years is that transition and I've just picked up my new one today. So I picked up this beautiful beast. This is a 14 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max chip. Um, it's not a full Max, I didn't really think about getting a full Max and I know that with full Max especially, it's a case of having the three of them go together. So the 16 inch, 64 gig of RAM and a 32 core. And I was getting a 24 core, 32 gig of RAM and a 14 inch MacBook Pro. And it's kind of the, the I guess the baby of its bigger brother, essentially, in the Max chip. I knew that I wanted a Max chip, I knew that I wanted to be able to create something that wouldn't have any lag. You know, the M1 Pro would do just fine, a lot of people have been saying, but I didn't want it to do just fine. I wanted to be able to push it to its limits and succeed by doing that. That's kind of what this computer is gonna give me. I've done a few tests today since unboxing it and opening it, and I've gotta say, already, compared to my other one, we are we are talking crazy difference. And the only reason why I pretty much upgraded this time around was because I upgraded my cameras. I'm shooting full 4K, full frame, 120 frames, uh, 422 10-bit color. So those big files in these new Sony cameras, the old Max, the Intel Max, they can't, they can't cope. And I thought I better get one sooner rather than later. I am set for 2022. I also absolutely love the fact that we've got the ports back, you know, MagSafe, the Thunderbolts, which are Thunderbolt 4, but also the SD card slot. I mean, where has that been for the last couple of generations? These Macs are thin enough that they can just have it on there. They don't need to, you know, worry about whatever. Maybe they do, I don't know. It's got HDMI, uh, which is 2 point, not 2.1, which I believe is the latest one or something. Um, I'll be honest, I use HDMI at all since upgrading to the last one I bought the LG Ultrafine monitor which is all USB-C so I've been everything I've been getting is USB-C all my hard drives everything dongles um, and I'm, I'm happy with that so the SD card slot is an absolute bonus that I can just plug things in without having to have a dongle or usually when I'm on a shoot and go and then you have to use the lead or whatever and it's like I need to charge it and copy and then it's like got a low back, whatever. It's one of those ones that has got a notch but I like it. Uh, the notch, I don't even recognise it's there, you know? So guys, that's a little rundown on kind of how I 
got into the Mac game and the kind of three Macs that I've owned in my life. Obviously I've used the M1 Pro iPad, which um, hence why I knew what the M1 was like, because the iPad was quicker than my eight core MacBook Pro. Obviously technology is gonna keep moving. I know they're gonna bring out the new iMac desktop, maybe the Mac Pro with the new chip. Um, but I'm gonna be happy with what I've got if it continues to serve me regarding what I wanna do. The quality I wanna produce, the cameras I use, etc. Um, I should have no problems. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell, um, because I'm gonna be doing a few tests with this MacBook. I'm gonna be doing, obviously, the video, how I set up my MacBook. Uh, I've got a new desk setup coming. I've got a new camera comparisons to come and stuff. So all these kind of tips and tricks that I give people verbally, I kind of thought I need to just put them into videos and share them online for you guys to go and watch and share yourselves. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.